lots of nice little rests in it. And you have to think about how you, s you move your eye from one cleft to another pretty quickly. So you start with your left, ha your left hand, right? And then your eye has to immediately move up to the treble clef and then back to the bass clef, back to the treble clef. Okay? So let's start it again because we want it to be nice and steady like a nice rock and roll. Now, there is one line that's completely different than the other, mm -hmm. the other three, yes. Mm -hmm. And that one is really fun because your left hand actually goes over your right hand. Mm -hmm. You see how the little yeah. dotted, dotted lines? Mm -hmm. Yes! So do you want to try tapping it with your left hand crossing over your okay. right hand? Let's try that. steady beat right through your entire body. Good for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and find your notes. These two notes are what in your right hand? Um, think about your guide notes up here. Think about what you wrote here for notes. Think about your treble C guide notes. These are the same, this is the same, this is going to be the same. These are slightly different. What are the names of those two notes? Those are A and B. Good, so go ahead and block those so that you really feel comfortable. Good, block them. Go ahead and block the C and E. So you can feel those underneath your hand. Good. Okay, so that's what your right hand's doing. Now here, it does go to another skip or a third. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and you could probably use, use another fingering because you always want to stay in the exact same position. So what fingers would you use for B and D? Exactly. All right, so go slowly because your left hand has an interesting line. Okay, so go slowly. 